Welcome Eurovision fans, this is Brandon, also known as the Lethargic Sloth, and it's time to take a look at Croatia. So uh, we have Albina with the song TikTok, which is going to get confusing, Albina, Albania, I'm probably going to muff that a couple times throughout the Eurovision season, but we'll see. Um, so, Croatia last year, Damir Kedjo, I probably said that wrong, um, I did a poll about where you thought Croatia ended up last year. Croatia ended up in my top three. <laughs> I loved that song last year, Wild Winds. Um, I could try to butcher the, the title, but I'll prefer not to do that right now. <laughs> I already butchered enough, you know, it's it's me. So, But uh, yeah, I just absolutely love the song. Uh, it's one that I constantly listen to. I have um, just Croatia has solidly been a country that's becoming one of my favorites the last couple years. I'm trying to remember, but I think there's three Croatian songs now that have been in my top ten at least. I know Lighthouse started it out there, and Jacques Houdek was really close, and then last year was a top three, the best finish Croatia has had on my list. So I'm interested to see. Um, it's sad that Damir couldn't return this year and, and do something else because I would have loved to hear what he could have come up with. But uh, let's check out TikTok here and uh, see if we like it. And I don't know if this is a... I actually got to see her... Oh, I, I can't remember if it was X Factor or oh, I can't remember. It was X Factor, the voice for Croatia. But I got to see her journey, and I sat there watching a lot of those. Like I got to see Australia with uh, Chris Sebastian, Guy Sebastian's brother. I watched his journey, and I think hers was connected to his. And I I watched a lot of those journeys. I don't care about the judge part because they just blow their egos up and everything and talk about that i just care about the music and hearing the people sing and and how they do and i got to hear hers and she's a phenomenal singer um my concern with the song a little bit is she, does she get to showcase her voice really truly to what she can do because she can sing like really sing so yeah, I don't know. This isn't my type of song per se. I think anybody that knows of my channel and everything knows that this isn't maybe my type of music. But I do appreciate the difference for Croatia. It's a lot more modern than something I would expect. A lot more hip, I guess. Musically, it's interesting. I enjoy a lot of it, uh, even though I'm not the biggest electronic person. But uh, I do enjoy I do enjoy it. I think it's a generally nice song. I think it's one that'll be a grower. Um, I'm trying to think where I want to put it because I like it enough. It's not annoying. So uh, I kind of want to go. I'm tempted to go with a 7.5, which I know seems kind of low. It's the lowest I've given so far. But it's just musical taste. This right now is just an introduction nice to meet you this is a introduction score I'm gonna go over it again I'll look at the technical side technically I think this is very good I think this is going to be a very strong finish for Croatia and I don't really see a chance this won't qualify I think this will definitely qualify and do quite well for Croatia just on a personal you know I obviously like the song last year better. I made my top three. It was uh, just more my style of music. I don't listen to a lot of dance music. I don't listen to club hits potential and stuff like that. I'm boring, as I've been told, and I've got horrible taste in music, as I've also been told. <laughs> I like heart and soul and a story, and, you know, unfortunately, this song doesn't have much of a story. And <laughs> But no, I still find it enjoyable overall. It's one that I definitely will be happy to listen to, and I'll probably end up downloading, and probably in a couple of weeks I'll even like it more than I do now. But I think 7.5 right now is where I'd put it on my personal introductory 
uh, totally subjective score. Um, but I want to hear what you all think. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you kind of like it? Do you not like it at all? I think it's solid. I like it. I'm not in love with it. And I just hope she gets to showcase her vo vocals because she really is a extremely good talent. And I'll probably try to cover a lot of her other songs that are out. And I want to try to promote and help any of these singers. And so I'd be happy to look at her other stuff and, uh, you know, just help promote the fact that she is a phenomenal <laughs> singer. So, yeah, um, TikTok, interesting. And I think, you know, contrary to my taste, I think this is actually going to do extremely well at Eurovision. So I'm very hopeful for you, Croatia. I think the risk is going to be worth the re. Uh, the reward is going to be worth the risk. I can't speak. Okay. So, for now, Lethargic Sloth, 